I'm going to continue with page 3 of Continuity Notes, section 2.3. On number 4, we need to sketch a graph of g of x equals x over x minus 2. So I've started it a little bit. What we have here, think about the denominator. What does that create? That creates a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. So I started my graph. I'm going to put a sketch in a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. What other features of the graph might I know about? Um, we can find horizontal asymptotes by looking at the limit as g of x goes to infinity and negative infinity. But in that process, we're comparing the powers of the numerator and denominator. These are the same. So with equal powers, the limit as x approaches negative or positive infinity is simply the fraction of the coefficients and it creates a horizontal asymptote. So I have a horizontal asymptote at y equals, um, it's going to equal 1. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and sketch that in. So I'm, I'm also going to jot down, we had a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. That was the other thing we knew. Now another thing that's nice to do here is to look at uh, the y-intercept. So if I take a look at the y-intercept, in order to find that, I'm just going to plug in 0. So g of 0, I get 0 over negative 2, it's just equal to 0. So the y-intercept is 0, so the origin is on the graph. Um, and so at this point, I could think about the limit as we approach um, positive 2 from the left-hand side. As we approach positive 2 from the left-hand side, um, say if we pick a number like 1.9, we can see we have a positive number over a negative number, and we're headed toward negative infinity. And we're going to come on up to this horizontal asymptote. Now, horizontal asymptotes, we're allowed to cross those. In this case, I'm just going to sketch the graph out like this. That's enough for what we need to do on this problem. Other location here, if we're looking at the limit as x approaches 2 from the right-hand side, so I could consider numbers like 2.1 being plugged in. We'd have a positive number over a positive number. So uh, this graph is looking something like that. Okay, that's close enough for what we need to do. Let's answer these questions about this. We're interested in domain and continuity. So the first question is, what is the domain? Basically, this graph works for every value except x equals 2. So our domain is basically x not equal to 2. We have a discontinuity at x equals 2. Um, here's some intervals. Is g of x continuous on the following intervals? So the first one is negative infinity up to and including 0. So as we progress from negative infinity up to and including 0, there are no discontinuities in that graph. So, yes, it is continuous. Now consider the area or the graph between 0 inclusive and positive infinity. So we're going to start here at x equals 0. We're going to go all the way to positive infinity, and we can see there is this asymptote gets in our way, so it is not continuous on that interval. Part C, the interval from 0 to 2, not inclusive. So from 0 to 2 not including those values. I have a continuous function up until I get to 2, but not including 2. It's okay for that. It's going to negative infinity. So yes, it is continuous on those values. Part D now includes 2. Um, and so now we have a discontinuity. It is not continuous because 2 is our location of our asymptote. Part E it's looking for including 2 all the way up to infinity. Again, that's going to have to be no, because 2 includes our asymptote. And f, how about if we consider this one, from 2 to infinity not including 2, is it continuous? And yes, that one is continuous.